partnership with Cambridge and other institutions is inspired by His Highness's remarks at the inauguration of our Narin campus in Kyrgyzstan in 2016, where he noted, what this university is all about is not only the power of education, but also the power of international cooperation. It is a power that can change people's lives. UCA's relationship with Cambridge, however, goes back much further to 2009 when it awarded an honorary degree to His Highness the Aga Khan. Generous support from the Cambridge Trust over the past years has also facilitated the development of several UCA faculty members, and today we are very pleased that we are renewing that arrangement. While UCA has ambitions for excellence in teaching, research, and civic engagement, the founders see its future as a research university. If Cambridge is a global university today, it's because it's reached out to strategic partners, both in the UK and overseas, to find urgent answers to pressing questions, to acknowledge that we need others as much as others might need us, and that we have to create a realistic assessment of the challenges that we face together as well as an expression of desire for wider and more substantial engagement. We have to accept that partnerships are essential to our work, requiring both humility and vision. Let's not forget how our university's missions and our university's pools of talent allow us, perhaps more than any other type of institution on the planet, to create, curate, and communicate the knowledge that can help to improve the world. So we must continue, it seems to me, to work together to let our institutions show how much they can contribute to improving our complex, troubled, but oh so glorious world. Freeing the mind is what this uh, university is all about and why we have a core uh, curriculum, why there is a focus on the value system, the value system that drives the Aga Khan Development Network and the value system that humanity needs to prosper and to grow so that it is not about all accumulation of everybody's resources, but it is about mutual benefit and mutual growth. And it is also about the university's role in uh, development. Since the initial agreement was made, six students have graduated, three from Kyrgyzstan and three from Kazakhstan. Three received master's degrees and three PhD degrees. The agreement we're about to sign today will support a further nine students and importantly, both from the University of Central Asia and the wider Aga Khan Development Network, so that they can gain postgraduate degrees at the University of Cambridge. As potential future faculty of the University of, of Central Asia and professionals working in the wider Aga Khan Development Network, these students, alumni and future students will be at the heart of an intellectual and economic transformation in the region. These students, they are the most important catalysts for change. And this is why the Trust's partnership with the University of Central Asia is so special to us. Thank you.